something a little bit neater but it works that's the main thing and if you want to save a 40 odd pounds a set of cartridges you're going to have to use something like this so it's got uh, sticky pads on the other side of here I've took the white stuff off to make them sticky just stick it down there and stick it down there and that's holding in place there that was a bit stupid because I've got the pipe over you make sure the pipe is over it like that sorry so make sure your pipe's over to run through there and then stick it down like that then you've got your two clips there you've got your pipe perfectly straight across and just clip them that's a bit loose at the back there it hasn't quite stuck properly but um, it will do don't worry about that the one that you get will do okay so you've got that in place all we've got to do now is get the CIS working by switching the printer on the printer is actually coming on but it takes a bit of time and there you go if you notice here the ink is starting to pull up it will continue to pull up as the printer is used so don't worry about that air There, the ink's going again there. There, and the printer is all ready, it's set up and it's ready to print. Right, there's one thing I've just forgot to show you there, and that's this clip here. You'll get that clip there, stick it down onto there, click it down to hold the piping into place and protect it, stop it getting squashed. So make sure you put that on as well. So if you're all up and ready to print, let's see what happens. Right, before we see the print, uh, just one more one uh, more thing to do because I've just been running some tests while the video was off and um, it was very sensitive to the lid being right down because this clip at the left doesn't hold it totally. So what we're going to do is make sure you've got one of these, a similar clip to that, just sticks on there. See that there? There's a hole there for it, but if we put something over it like that, nice and stiff, it stops the printer lid shutting right down and there is no problems so uh, that is an extra since I started the video that thing there it could be one of those or it could be one of those anything really that stands proud and stops this or here going into that hole so a late adjustment but at least we've got it spot on and let's see if the thing print we'll put the lid down right you can see that the lid is down and we've got a bit of a gap there but there's nothing we can do we've got to have it um, else it's not going to work. HP have put so many traps in that we've had to come up with something to get around everything. So I've put a CD under the scanner. Let's um, do a colour copy of it. And um, there you go. there it is printing away with the lid down that's the most important thing that it prints with the lid down almost closed not quite closed but we got it right it was that little thing on this corner here that saves a day it just keeps the lid open enough
for everything to go smoothly and there's the uh, printout of it everything's fine that's a CISS working and um, a few extras on this one to other CIS but the main thing is you beat the price of the original cartridges so if you want one just go to the website that will be going across the bottom of the uh, video uh, just go on there and um, there's plenty available